Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to make a simple calculator. So yes, let's begin. Um, let's add an edit component. Let's align it to the top. We'll change the font size to 12. Then we'll add two of them because we'll need two numbers. So we'll be adding the numbers into the edit component. And then we choose in the buttons whether it should be plus or minus or divide or whatever. Let's make this 12 also. Maybe 16. 12 is fine. So this is plus, this one is for minus, this one is for multiply, this one is for divide. Um, is there anything else? Let's add some more buttons. So there's two types of divide, nothing. Okay, this is plus, minus, multiply, divide, and then also divide. So this divide is for um is for real numbers, and this one is for integer values. Or let's or let's call this floating values numbers, not. Yeah, so this is for, for, for floating numbers. And they will need an output to, to display the answer. So like a label, align to the bottom, alignment center, answer goes here. We increase the font size to 16. Enable auto size is on, okay. Let's not make it 16, let's make it 20. Okay. Make it a bit bigger. Okay. This button is fine. Okay. Let's start coding. Let's create a global variable. Um, or will we? No, I don't think it's needed for a global variable. Just be stupid to do that. Oops, we must. Mm. That's fine. Okay. Just thinking of ways to, to make it better, but I'll make an I'll make a um a this is the twenty video, so I'll make a twenty point one video where I'll just improve it. Um, let, let let's just learn the basics now. So let's add for the first value, and the second value. You could use it to make type real, but let's you use type double. Double is basically the same as a real. Um, real is just basically kind of um, obsolete. Um, double is is more accurate, I guess you can say it like that. So use double. Um, v1 is also a floating value, so it supports those ones. Um, string to float at one dot text uh, second one is string or oh, sting str to float at two dot I should stop saying string it's str okay so here's the two numbers then we also need an answer number so it's called answer answer set equals to v1 plus v2 so that's basically just what we need for this one uh, let's call this LBL output dot caption colon equals float to str answer compile let's for instance add 20.99 and 7 
0.25256. So we plus it, we get the answer here. And as you guys can see, it's working because 20 plus 7 is 27 plus the 99 um, of plus the, the, the decimal 99 and 6 will make it um, 28 and then plus the 25. Not the 6 plus the 1 from the 20. 20 ah, never mind. You guys get it, get what I'm trying to say. That works. And remember, you can also use do it this way. There's two ways to um, add the two numbers to each other. You can also do it this way. Answer colon equals um, the sum of B1 and B2. But in order for this to work, you have to add um, math to the users list. So, yes. Um, okay, let's do the minus will basically work the same, so I'll just be copying and pasting. Let's do the minus. So instead of plus, we just add a minus sign and that will work. So let's go do the multiply one. It will also work the same. Instead of minus, we'll add a multiply which is an asterisk asterisk sign for the diff or not the diff the, for the divide we also do the same with slash it's a slash one you have to know now that the slash one is for floating values and diff one is for integer values just so it will work a bit differently you can't you, you can't give it um floating values but it will basically throw away the the decimal ones. So let's compile. I'll show you guys. You see, it, it doesn't even. Um, you can't even do it like this because it it expects to receive an integer value. So let's give this an integer int int. Into string into str. Let this out. Let's make a 20.25 and 5.75. Okay, so plus that's correct, minus that's correct, multiply that should be correct, and that's also correct. And an invalid integer value. Okay. So we'll just want to use the round function here to actually round it off to the nearest um, next number to compile. We had 20.25 and we had 5.75 and the J value. Why is it giving me that nonsense? Oh, yeah, because it, it, it wants to receive um without the the decimal so we have to say like just whole numbers we can't have um, decimals when you use the diff so we just add something else like one <laughs> be like that or two twenty five is if you add to it um, 24, that will be that will stay four because it, it it doesn't divide the fifth time into it. But if you use slash, then it will actually give us the decimal ones. So that's basically the difference between it. Um, yes, we can even remove the round now from it, and you guys will see it will stay like that. So 24 and five won't go to 5 because it doesn't divide 5 times into it as basically I hope you guys understand the difference now between um, the diff and the uh, um, divide one anyway that's how you do it um, I think that's it for this video guys um, I'll keep improving this calculator in the next video 
So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye!